in the film, it shows you guys having a fun time driving across the country and, and, and living this fun life selling your you know, CDs at bars. What would you tell two women in a similar situation? Because I'm sure there were times when it wasn't as fun. Oh, so what, um, what advice? How do you protect Taking yourself? a trip like that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, anytime that you throw yourself out there in a risky situation, you're, you're only learning and you're only gaining. And uh, like Einika says in the beginning of the movie, it's easy to say no. It's hard to say yes to a challenge. So, um, you know, take the chance, take the risk. That's what I would say to anyone. You only grow as a person. And then how did you get Ron Jeremy, Ricky Rocket, Chips Enough? I mean, like sure. So, um, well, when we got to Hollywood, uh, you know, we made, we, we did some concerts, we made the video, and uh, we decided to do in Hollywood what we had done across all the, across the country, network, and, and talk about our project that we were excited about, talk about our band, you know, sell our CDs, share our music, and uh, Anika and I are both very outgoing and like to have fun. And, um, and, and we're just, we're excited about our art and wanted to share it. So we, you know, Hollywood's a, a small town is what you find out. So we met Ron Jeremy in a bar and uh, he was enamored by Einika, who sometimes comes across, I like to say, as a modern Zsa Zsa Gabor. And um, so, and, and we just said, hey Ron, will you be in our music video? You know, thinking it was a, a shot in the dark. And then, what do you know, a week later he's like, calls and I'm like, and Jeremy called me. He's like, yeah, so you're, you're planning this music video? Okay, yeah, so what are the dates? I'll, I'll, I'll put it down. And I was like, wow. Yeah, so he, he, he was in our music video for free. And then um, we, came, we, you know, we met Ron and we would socialize with him once in a while. And it sort of gets you access to the rest of the, the Sunset Strip world. And we met um, Stephen Adler's brother, Jamie, and actually went on tour with uh, Stephen Adler's band. So we, we did that last summer. We went on tour across the country with his band called Adler's Appetite. And uh, Chips Enough was his bass player. So, um, so we got to know Steven and he, he also was in the movie for free. Thank you guys. Um, and then we just started like networking and going out to any types of music seminars as well. Or, or um, trade shows. Like for instance, there's a really famous one here in Los Angeles called NAM. And Ricky Rocket has a drum company and he is there and selling him and promoting his drums. So I just went up to him and was like, you know, I'm making a documentary and I think that you would have a really relevant perspective because you came from Pennsylvania like we did and would you be interested in interviewing for it? And he's like, this isn't a normal fan. I was like, okay, email me. So we emailed him and he was willing to do it and um, also did it for free. So it's just like, if you ask, you know, there's the chance you may receive. If you don't ask, you never know.